What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Jason the X back with another video review. Taking a look today at the Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Autobot Hot Rod. Now, this is a Voyager Class figure. It says it's a Voyager Class figure. Is it? That's up for debate. However, I think this is a really good figure. Now, I am not one of those people that's going to sit here and go, Oh, Hot Rod killed Optimus Prime. I hate Hot Rod. I don't hate Hot Rod. I actually like Hot Rod. He was a... I liked his car mode. I like I, I like Hot Rod. I liked him more before he became Rodimus. So anyway, we're gonna take a look at this figure. I'm just gonna go ahead and get. But hold up, listen to it. Listen. Oh, it vroom vroom so well. Anyway, take a look at the top of the box. You got the window here to let some light down in. Transformers the movie, the '86 movie, the really good one. And if you see damage to the box, that's because I threw it threw it on the floor. My cats got to it. And this is the second time I've shot this review. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Anyway. You've got a picture of Hot Rod attempting to open up Matrix right there on the box. 86 Studio Series, Transformers the movie, Transformers down on the side. You've got a claw mark here. I trust trust me it didn't come like that. He is the 8604 Voyager. Closer look at him, you got the Voyager class there. And the full shot of Hot Rod on the back. On the back of the box, big screen inspired scale, detail and backdrop. The depths of Unicron. Hot Rod lights the darkest hour. 29 steps, but it's a really easy transformation. So, getting it out of the box, they do come with the stage, and I'm glad this is the second to last of these, because you'll see there's some damage in this box. I warned you, kitty cats got to it. And you can put them there if you want. If you want to do that, that's fine. But anyway, let's take a look at it in car mode and man that is a good looking hot rod there there are some mismatches with the red i will admit like this is plastic there's some paint here especially with the paint meeting the plastic this is where things kind of look you know a little janky but i say little i really do like this figure i, I can't keep uh, saying that he does look like he kind of has some areas where he doesn't tab in as well and that's just me trying to find something he's very low to the ground very sleek you got the pipes here, and arguably, this figure might be a little bit better than, uh, well, another version that we're going to show here. So I always have problems getting this area to tab in well, and there you go. You see you got this weird gap here, but yeah, it does look good, nice and shiny on the bottom. You can't see his chest plate there. He does have the false chest plate. This has not become his chest, but honestly, I like it like that. Got the legs on the bottom, nice big yellow spoiler. For a comparison, here he is with the Earthrise smoke screen. I think that's a really good size comparison. This whole 86 line along with Kingdom giving us these characters, and then we had Earthrise giving us these guys. I'm digging it, I'm loving it. Uh, you do got the port up here on him, and you kind of wonder, well, they all kind of have ports. Where are his? And you're gonna look, they're going to be here. Because now we can get into some of the accessories that he has. Now his accessories are these two blasters and you'll see they have these kind of wings on the side. So what you can do with that, you can pin these here on the front of the car. You can maybe do a little target master action if you want. I'm not a big fan of putting them on the front of the car though. But also he has with the two blasters that you see, he comes with his saw blade, which you can actually pin on top of there. I don't know why you would do this. I guess it would give it more stability. Oops, come on, get on there, get on there. So there you go. And along with that, he also comes with two energy effects. And they're the exact same, but you can put those on the front of the barrels of the gun. Guns. And there you get some blasting effects. So if you wish, pew pewing things. But you can also take them, and if you see they're, they're kind of, oops, you want to put them on that way. So you get two holes going into the pipes. So they can go on the back of the car, just like so. So you got some, you know, some hot roddy blue energy coming off of the tailpipes. You can also take this little assembly here. I, I'm not gonna do that again. And you can put it into these slots on top of the car, which I actually think they look better up here. those in there and there you go so now they're on top of the car and they can look like they're blasting 
And the other accessory that he comes with is a small little matrix of leadership. And we can zoom in on that a little bit. And it's a classic matrix here. It is translucent plastic through the center of it. You can see it through there. Got some gold and silver paint over that. On the back, it is just uh, an empty hole there. But the other thing that he comes with is an energy effect for this. So as the matrix is opening, you see you got the two tabs on the back of it right here. You fit those between the handles. And you can lift that above Hot Rod's head and he can light the darkest hour. And it's a good little energy effect piece. I love the swirly energy like in the middle of it. It looks good. And I do believe this is, let me hit the camera. This is the same one that comes with Prime. Let's make sure, because yes, I did have Prime just sitting over here. And it is a little different. The gold is a bit different on Prime, it's a little bit lighter. The translucent plastic is a little bit, uh, a little bit brighter. It looks like the same energy effect. Let's see, we'll go in there, it will. Goes in there just fine, so Prime can also light the darkest hour. Now measuring Hot Rod out in vehicle mode, he comes to about five and one quarter inches long. Now I do have some comparison figures. It, it is Classics Hot Rod and uh, a Masterpiece Hot Rod, but I, because I have to shoot this review again, I want to get it out. I'm not going to have the comparisons in car mode. I'm sorry guys, but we will have comparisons in robot mode. But now to get this guy transformed, we're going to go ahead and just pop his hood. That comes open like that. Put these little headlight pieces in. We can leave that open for now. We want to take these pipes and detach them from here. There's a little tab that goes inside of this pipe. So bring that up. You can also take this pipe and open it up, open up the car panel on top that reveals his fist. Turn this around and then there's a little panel back here, a little hole. You just kind of close that up there. Repeat the same thing with the other side. Turn this around, rotate into the pipe, close it up. And from the back, we can untab the legs from this center piece. You just pull them out, there's a tab right in the center there, and bring this up and out. And you see you got a double hinge, just go ahead and get that out of the way. You can leave it here for now. For the legs, looking at it from this side, there's actually two tabs along the gray part of the leg. You open up that red part, and then you just unfold the leg out, bring it down, take the wheel, close it up into this panel. And then you can, oh, wait, before you do that, bring the foot down and then close the panel up on his leg. Same thing with the other side. You're just gonna untab from the gray piece, the red piece, open her up, bring this down, open the foot, I think I actually unsnapped that. Anyway, uh, close up the pipe. Now this leg always has a problem closing and I'm not sure why. I, I, I can see that the wheel is all the way in, but I'm trying to get that tab to go in there and stay and it just doesn't want to do it. As many times as I look, I've looked at what's going on here, I can't get this side to stay in. It's, it's just a little gap. I don't know what's going on there, but it, it is what it is. Turn the waist around to the front. Open up this portion and pop out his head. It's just on a little hinge there. You want to take the arms and there is a mushroom peg right here. You're going to rotate this around. Bring this down and then close this all up. You've got two tabs here that are going to go into two slots on his, the back of his chest. Closing that up, take the panel. There's a little tab here that you use for the to pop the hood piece up and a little, well, a little slot, a little tab, and then you're just going to push that in. And there you got Hot Rod in his robot mode. Now looking at this figure, he is a $30 price point Voyager, but this is a very good figure. This transformation looks sleek bringing him around. It's very compact. The backpack is minimal. He looks good. And um, I gotta say, I have to argue that this might actually be better than say a masterpiece version. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. But articulation wise, the feet can go tilt forward about that far, tilt back about that far. 
you could tilt to the inside of the leg about that far, just about an A stance. The legs do bend past 45 degrees. Got a twist at the thigh. He can Van Daminate all the way full Van Dam Nation. There is a swivel at the waist, very easy swivel to work with. The arms will go all the way around. The hood, the uh, fin piece does get in the way. The arms, they are articulated at the elbow past 45 degrees. That's always good to see. The wrists will twist and the hands open up. He does have some weapon holding hands. The head has a ball joint, goes left and right about yay far. We'll go back about that far, back forward about that far. And he does have some action features, which we're actually going to talk about as well. Now, there's no place to store the Matrix inside Hot Rod because he wasn't Rodimus yet. They're, they're just, it just wasn't happening yet. So, bring my booth out a little bit more so I can get him more in the light. Sorry if this looks kind of dark. But one of the action features that the figure does come with, you can open up his helmet. And inside there, you'll see his little binocular shades that he would throw down. You can put those into position. And that's pretty good for a $30 figure at the Voyager price point. That's good, a little translucent plastic there. There's no light piping on this guy. The eyes are just painted, but I mean, you've got the little visor piece. So I like how that goes. And his, his face looks really good. I'm trying to get him in some light here. Add a little bit more light to the room so you can see this guy. But yeah, I think he looks really good. I love the shape of the chest and everything. The head looks good. You got a little splotch of paint. The paint apps are good on mine. I'm not seeing too many paint defects. I actually think this, this is painted very well with the combination of using the red plastic. Yes, they are a bit off. And hey, that's, that's not great. But still, I think it makes for a decent figure. Now check it out some of his accessories. You can just pop these weapons into his hands. If you don't want them on there, you still have the slots on the back that you can store those weapons on. But uh, getting these into his hands, they are like already shaped in the back of the hand. Come that up and pop that in there. And these look really good. You can get some really good poses out of it with his two gun himself. And you can make use of those effects pieces that we saw in uh, vehicle mode. You can pop those onto his arms. So he's blasting with his arm cannons and you, there's just so much playability on this guy but wait there's more you can actually open these panels up or drop them down and turn this around and then you've got his little let me close his hand up all the way you got his little uh welding arm that he can fix up cup nice little feature there they just added in the sky and yeah we've seen that on like masterpiece figures but on this side you can take Take it and push it down, close up his hand, and then you got a little peg, and you know what that peg is gonna be used for. That's gonna be used for his buzzsaw arm. And you can just pop that onto the peg there. And he's got his pizza cutter of doom. It looks good. Still kinda wish it free spun a little bit more, but I'm just nitpicking now, because it's a good fig. It really is. But the main thing with this guy, what you can do is with the articulated hands that open up, and just this really great, I, I didn't show this off. I said this about the shoulder articulation. I, I didn't mean the uh, arms go up about that far, but what you could do is lift his arms above his head and I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this along so you can just, but you can get hot rod in that classic movie stance where he lights the darkest hour and opens up the matrix. Now there is word that we are getting, uh, well, it's a rumor, it's kind of, kind of confirmed, that we will be getting a Rodimus somewhere in this line. So I think this is pretty cool to maybe get this guy and put him in front of Rodimus, you know, turning in from Hot Rod into Rodimus. But I think this is a cool effect. It's just a nice little play feature they didn't have to include, but I think at the Voyager price point, all of these accessories and everything makes it worth it. And for a little bit more of a size comparison, here he is next to the Leader Class Optimus Prime and a Deluxe Class Smoke Screen. I think these guys look really good together. And for another size comparison, here he is next to a Classics Rodimus and my Masterpiece Hot Rod. Now, I look at my Masterpiece Hot Rod, and I look at this Hot Rod, and I think, wow, they could have done better with this. They could have done better. I know this might be kind of a controversial thing to say, 
but this is a more expensive figure. I see screws on here. I added some decals to them just to make him kind of look a little bit different, but he's got this huge backpack and the chrome on the guns on the sides are already scraping off. And he's got this very flat chest. I honestly think that this is a better engineered hot rod. Now, I can also bring in, because he's not the one I leave on my shelf, I can bring in the fans' toys, uh, Rodimus that they made, or hot rod that they made. And it almost looked like they kind of took some cues from this to make this. You can argue that, hey, may, they, <laughs> it's okay if they copied of a company that is, you know, kind of making their own versions of a Takara or Hasbro thing and maybe take some elements from there. I'm fine with that. This is the guy on my Masterpiece shelf, though, and this guy is going to look good in my deluxe kind of chuggish collection of everything. But this is a better engineered hot rod than arguably a Masterpiece hot rod. Now, getting this guy back into his car mode, it's not that difficult. The main thing you want to do is just take these pipes. Well, it's not the main thing you want to do. It's the first thing you want to do. This isn't even the first thing you have to do. I'm just babbling now. Turn the pipes around, put the panels back down, take the spoiler, bring it back, open up the chest piece, fold this out, turn this at the mushroom peg, bring that all back around, bring the arms down, fold the head in, and then you can close this up. You want those two tabs that previously you turned around to go back into the chest piece. Just bring those down to here. Actually, you know what? I don't think I should have done that just yet. Just bring the arms back up. Let's go start, let's start working on the legs. Now that panel didn't want to close, you just open it back up, fold out the pipe and wheel. It's got a little tab that locks in there, if you didn't hear that. Close the foot back up there. Take this and turn the waist around because these are going to end up at the bottom. The car mode, so you just bring that up and close this around. You'll actually hear it tab in a little bit there. So same thing, open this panel up, unfold out the wheel and the exhaust pipe. Get the clicks, fold the foot in. Once again, same thing, bring this around and close the leg up and close that up. Bring these down. The chest might have come untabbed by then. Oh, wait a minute, we don't want to bring that down just yet. But you can take this part and turn it around and just kind of bring it down as far as you can, make that as flush as possible. It tabs into the top piece and you got the two tabs on the back. One of them is already tabbed in, but you just push the other side in like so. Excuse me. Close this down. Take this. You got a little tab on the side there. Just want to push into that little slot on the arm. Same thing with this side. Close that up. Start bringing this assembly up. Then you want to take those little bits that you unfolded, well, that you folded up earlier, unfold them. They actually have a little slot in the side where the silver is and a little tab right here. You just kind of push that in. Same thing here. Then you can close the hood up. Making sure that you've tabbed everything. Take these pipes. You got a little, little locking tab there. Just kind of bring that back. Same thing here. And just kind of mush everything together. <coughs> Make sure everything's tabbed. And there you have Hot Rod back in his vehicle mode in really, really good looking vehicle mode. So my final thoughts, I love this figure. I think it's really good. Good representation of Hot Rod. Comes with a lot of accessories. It's well done. I don't think they could have done better at the price point that they gave us this figure. So I'm a big fan. Go get this guy immediately if you see him. They're showing up at Target. They're showing up at Walmart. If you want a good looking hot rod for your collection, I don't think you can go wrong with this. It's just a very good figure. 
Anyway, guys, I'm Jason the X. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. We're trying to build the channel, and it really helps us a lot. If you want to follow me personally, you can do it. At, you can do so at Jason the X on Instagram and Twitter. But follow at Alternate Heads Podcast on Instagram. I'll catch you later, guys.